Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Sunday. I'm having a really nice weekend. I was feeling good yesterday and I, I just wanted to share it with you because I did some book shopping. I, I think I mentioned in my last video that I was going to meet a friend for brunch and I did that. It was so nice and we had a brunch and afterwards I was in the mood to do some shopping. The weather yesterday was amazing here until about three o'clock when I got home, it just started pouring down rain, which continued most of the night. But the daytime yesterday was amazing. It was sunny and warm and I had my sunroof open and oh, I just, I love those days. So I was feeling motivated and I went shopping. My first stop was my favorite Barnes and Noble in the area. It's not, it, it's close-ish to me, probably 25 minutes away from me. There's a Barnes and Noble. Well, there's probably one, two, three within 30 minutes. The two close ones to me have closed, sadly, um, but they're still they're still close ones. And the one that I love is a little bit smaller, and it feels it feels very intimate. It's not a gigantic, huge store. Everything's a little more close in, and it's really fun. So I bought one book there, and I bought one record. I'll start with the record because I bought this Kiss World, The Best of Kiss. And the reason I bought this is because I have lots of vintage Kiss records, but I wanted a, I wanted one that had Tommy and um, Eric on the cover because they've, they've always got the four old original members, but very few I have seen have the new members who have given so much to the band who are, they've been with the band longer than the original members. And I just, I don't think they get the credit that they deserve. So I wanted to buy this. It's just a greatest hits compilation. And I'm super excited um, to listen to that. Um, and then, oh, also I bought, I went ahead and bought new this uh, Stanley Tucci Taste, My Life Through Food, because I've heard wonderful things about it. I want to read it and I just, I felt like, I felt like it. I, um, I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday of all of the, the, the uh, this Barnes & Noble also has a ton of uh, Penguin Cloth Bound Classics and the Chiltern uh, Classics of which I own, oh, I own Persuasion here. Um, and I love the covers of these, but one thing I realized when I was trying to decide which one I wanted to buy yesterday is they've got this sort of plasticky paper and I don't really care for that. So I did not buy any of those, even though I was definitely tempted. After that, I hit the Half Price Bookstore in uh, that's in between my house and, and that Barnes & Noble. I bought uh, this guy, Gabrielle K. This is The Lions of Albersan. Not sure which series this is or if it's a standalone. I've only read a few um, of his books, but I've loved them. So I'm trying to pick them up when I find them. This was a dollar on the sale rack. And I also bought um, this one in a really nice hardback cover. This is The Wandering Fire, which is book two of the Fiona Var Tapestry, which I've also not read. I have the first book in a little paperback, um, but I'm trying to buy these when I see them for use because I do, I just, I love him. From what I've seen so far, I really love his writing. So I'm gonna try and buy them when I find them. And then I bought three Star Trek books. Getting ready for Book Trek 2022. Uh, book Trek 2022. So you know I cannot resist these old paperbacks when I see them for inexpensive. These were a dollar. I got <laughs> Vulcan by Kathleen Sky. Love this. I love that cover. It's Spock on the cover. And then I also bought Spock Must Die. Um, sadly, I don't know why. I tried to peel the label off. I don't, and I have label remover. I don't know why I didn't grab that. On these old paperbacks, I should just automatically get out my 
chemical toxic label remover and pull those labels off because I keep I keep doing that. Even though this is it's not collectible, it's not worth any money. I just hate it when I peel the labels off and I break them. So and then lastly for the Star Trek books, I bought um, Picard. This one I'm going to read for sure. This is the first in the Picard series, which I have not yet watched and I've not yet read any of these books. Um, so since I haven't watched any of the, the new uh, Star Trek iterations, I thought this would be a really good crossover for Book Trek um, because I'm already familiar with the characters. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be a lot of fun to read. And then I found two beauties. The first is an old vintage edition of Daddy Long Legs by Gene Webster, which I just, I love the cover of this. I could not resist. I already own one old vintage edition, which I believe has the movie tie-in cover. Um, and then I found a Persephone. This is Lady Rose and Mrs. Memory by Ruby Ferguson. I don't know anything about this, uh, but it was inexpensive and it's a Persephone and I love it and it's in great shape. It's got really pretty end papers. So I grabbed it, does not have Sadly, it does not have the bookmark, which is usually the case in these used ones, because um, these Persephone's always, when they're new, they come with a bookmark that matches the, the end papers, which I just love, 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 love to pieces. So that was my book shopping for yesterday. I wanted to share it with you. And here is my pile. Let's see if I can hold the, yeah, it's kind of a, that's kind of a messy pile, but anyway, I was excited to share around with you. Hope you're having a, a good Sunday um, and doing something relaxing and fun, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.